Without the sheriff's cooperation, there's only so much we can do. So we're just gonna let him get away with this? Kind of like how we let you get away with not inviting us to the wedding? Well, at least you were invited to the champagne toast. Sorry, sir. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sure it was Mr. Castle's fault. Now, regarding the case, I'll call the feds and see if they can intercede on our behalf. Sir, that could take weeks. By then, any evidence or witnesses could be long gone. Uh, excuse me, sir. I checked Whitney's financials. She used a car service to get to the airport in Arizona this morning. And I spoke with the driver. He said she seemed upset when she left the ranch. Something happened there. Yeah, but we have no way to investigate it. Wait. Maybe we do. We do? Well, look at this place. I mean, it's got beautiful skies, wide open spaces, thrill of the Old West. What better place for an impromptu honeymoon? For the investigation, of course. We could jump on a plane and be there in a few hours. Castle, you cannot be serious. We can find Whitney's killer and have a honeymoon at the same time. It's perfect. No, Castle, we are not having a honeymoon at a dude ranch. Well, it, then it could be our cover story. We're a, a newlywed couple with a hankering for the wild frontier, right? And look, Beckett, I know you want to see justice brought to this young woman's killer, and this... This is the only way. I hate to say this, but your husband may be right. This could be our best shot at solving the case. Fine. Excellent. Saddle up, honey, because we are honeymooning out west. Okay.